Hey guys, today I'm going to do a talk through tutorial because you guys love it when I do talk throughs. And I'm in a really good mood today even though I burnt my face with my curling iron. Uh, I saw a beautiful picture of Alessandra Ambrosio for the Brazil Foundation in New York, the gala dinner. She looks amazing. I'm going to link it below. P.S. You should follow the makeup artist, Rodrigo Costa, because he is hot. Oh, man. I would not be out of focus. I would be like sweating all over the place if he was doing my makeup. So apparently he used EX1 on her foundation, her concealer, and her blush. And I have all those products, so I'm going to do the same thing. People, stop texting me. I'm so popular. First, we're going to prime because, of course, you have to prime. It's a crime if you don't prime according to some people, but this is the Cheats Primer. It's called Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. Ooh, and it's nice and refreshing. Now I'm going to use my foundation. I had a tiny amount of this, this foundation left. I was freaking out. Um, but luckily I have some more. And I've never tried F100, but I feel like I might actually be F100 these days. So I'm going to use EX1 Invisware Foundation in F200. And if I need to put some F100 in there, I'm going to do that. This is honestly, like, I really love this foundation. I first tried it, I bought it over in England with Nina last year, in 2014. Sorry, I burnt my forehead with my curling iron. Mm, it hurts quite a bit. I'm going to put it on my tart brush. And then dot. Actually, yeah, I think this color will be good for me. Spread, spread, spread. Heaps of celebs use this foundation I've since found out besides myself and Nina. Obviously Alessandra Ambrosio but like Candace Mon no Rosie Huntington Whiteley, uh Georgia May Jagger, Carrie Mulligan, that chick from um what the Hunger Games. The blonde one that talks to dragons. Amelia Clark. Okay, um I am gonna conceal that ginormous lump on my forehead. This is the D one hundred concealer. Oh yeah. The good thing about using the same concealer brand as your foundation is that it's going to match much easier. Looked kind of like a hickey, but then who'd be making a hickey on my forehead? Now for eyebrows, and obviously her eyebrows are super natural. I'm going to use my Hourglass Brow Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. Brows, again, she's all about like the natural, so I'm just going to brush through them and undo all the hard work I just did. As always, as you know, one of my favourite products is my Gimme Brow from Benefit. Just give some natural volume with that. Now this makeup just is that simple that I'm going to move straight onto the eyes now. Steel Ink by Bobbi Brown is a steel inky coloured eyeliner. I've got that on my Sigma Small Eyeliner eyeliner brush. And I'm going to take that from the inner corner of the eye all the way to the outer corner of the eye. So I'm just going to line like that, don't flick it out just yet. Now that your brush has been used, just start flicking it out. Because we want like a soft little dainty flick. That already looks so much like Alessandro Ambrosio. Okay, now onto mascara. This is the Volume Millions de Sils from L'Oreal Paris. I need to be very careful because otherwise I'll get this on my eyelid because my eyelashes are super curly right now. Because I just had them um, lifted. Now onto the rest of the face. And I'm going to use this product. This is a Studio 10 product. It's a new brand to Sephora Australia really good products. This brand has really good products. It's called the, this one's called the Radiance Glow and it's a contour kit or like bronzing highlighting kit. It's mint. It's just so blendable this thing. And this is the brush as well, Studio 10 cheek brush. Can we just appreciate this? And then it's got this beautiful highlighter which I'm going to use as well. Oh yeah, talk to me, Poppy. So this lipstick is the RD732 from Shiseido. Mmm, so creamy. Oh, blush. Which blush should I use? I feel like he didn't have 
Like, I want to use what she had on. And looking at the picture, okay, the, that picture looks completely different to what I have on my lips right now. So, I'm going to remove it. So, this is the EX1 Jet Set Glow and Pretty in Peach. Pretty in Peach first. Jet Set Glow second. I have another Studio 10 product. Love this lip gloss. It's called Lip Perfecting Plumping Gloss. And that is the makeup done. This makeup would be good for a wedding. It would be good for your formal. It would be good for a first date. It's the perfect all occasion makeup look. And definitely recommend this foundation. Recommend the Studio 10 products. Um, pretty much everything that I used obviously is like in my top favorite right now. The Scandinavia Primer, if you're a lazy bastard, this is great. And that's it for me, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and leave requests and I'll talk to you soon.